So why not play a fun little game called Little Kid or Drunk Adult, right? Yeah. All right, let's introduce you to Lynette, calling us from Lively Shively. Hi, Lynette. Hello, how you doing? Doing well. Lynette's got brown hair. She works at Cardinal Stadium in Churchill Downs. She's engaged. Lynette, how long did it take for the lucky guy to get the courage to ask you? Uh, two years. Ah, that's, yeah, that's reasonable. I, I was going to say, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> At least it wasn't something like, ah, you know, 12 years, you finally decided. Oh, uh, no, he didn't want to lose me. <laughs> oh, see, he knows. Oh. He knows what he has. I like that. Mm-hmm. Lynette mm-hmm. told the Beyonce, if you want it, you better put a ring on it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I just made it on Facebook when he did it. <laughs> oh, it's so great. <laughs> Love it. All right, Lynette, Kelly's going to explain how the game works. Oh, you know the game. You will hear three stories. You got to determine each time to that person. Was that person a little kid or a drunk adult when it happened? Okay. Okay, here we go. Little kid, drunk adult, first one. I call the cops on my neighbor's gerbil. Ah. The neighbor's gerbil. Yes. Needed the police called on it. Okay. (laughs) All right. All right, Lynette, was it a little kid or drunk adult? Little kid. Okay. See, I was thinking drunk adult because I'm not even sure if a a lot of kids would know how to call the police on a gerbil hamster gerbil gerbil all right so kelly's saying drunk adult lynette you say little kid i was a little kid it was a little kid. oh wow lynette yes that's one right yep i saw my neighbor gerbil out in the backyard and i thought it was in serious danger i was always taught that if i ever saw anything or anyone in danger you just call 911 but that's what i did and i was only six years old and my dad was taking a nap i was too afraid to wake him so i called 911 in bed and both the dad and the cop yelled at me for a half hour and I started sobbing. Aww. The cops yelled at her for a half an hour? I mean, that's her interpretation of what happened when she was six, you know? But I mean, her heart was in the right place. She was trying to save the gerbil. She was trying to save the gerbil. <laughs> what if someone was going to mow their lawn? That's right. Lynette, Aww. all right, you're one for one. Here we go. Next one, little kid, drunk adult. I cried when I pooped my pants while the vehicle full of strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I would, too. <laughs> I would. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, Lynette, what do you think? Little kid, drunk adult? Drunk adult. All right. Yep, I'm sticking with you on that All one. All right, both of you yep. say drunk adult. I was a drunk adult. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there was. You yeah. got it. Drunk adult for sure. Actually, yes. my husband had just left me for another woman and oh. kicked me out of our house. And I was oh on gosh. a 22-hour long ride on a bus heading back to my hometown, and I crapped my pants. Oh, oh no! Wow! It went from bad to worse! Oh, I don't think you get lower than oh, that. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! <laughs> oh, poor girl. I choose oh. to think she's in a much better place right now, well, which is why we can laugh about it. <laughs> and because her bathroom wasn't working, so, uh, yeah, I just started crying because I felt like my life couldn't get any worse. Yeah! <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Lynette, nothing like that's (laughs) happened to you, right? No. (laughs) Okay, good. (laughs) All right, last one. Little kid, (sighs) drunk adult. So far, you're two for two. You're doing well, Lynette. Here we go. So I threw up at a wedding right as the priest said, you may now kiss the bride. Oh, no. (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) All right, Lynette, what do you think? Little kid. Little kid. Okay, yeah, I think it could be a little kid. All right. Both Maybe of... even like a bridesmaid or something. Oh, my gosh. All right, both of you. Wait, 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 wait. Or junior bridesmaid. Oh, I was going to say. All yeah. right. Flower girl. <laughs> all right. Something flower... like that. All right, yeah. all right, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so both of you say little kid. Oh, all right, here we go. Yeah, I was a drunk adult. Oh, oh man. Drunk oh, man. Adult. <laughs> <laughs> Lynette's all like, what? Um, it was my sister's wedding of all weddings. Um, I got hammered on Fireball uh, right before the ceremony, and it just did not agree with me. Okay. And, yeah, right as the priest said, you may now kiss the bride, I puked 
everywhere. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh my god. Um, if, and oh. I was a bridesmaid, so oh, no. everyone saw it, and it was mortifying. Well, Kelly, you were at least right. It was a bridesmaid. <laughs> it was. Oh my gosh, it's her sister. She's downing fireball before the wedding. <laughs> well, yeah, just to take the edge off. Okay. Just to take All the right. edge off. We have a shot. We don't just down so much we get sauced. <laughs> Seriously, right. you're a bridesmaid. You have duties. All right. Well, Lynette, at least keep that in mind for your upcoming wedding. That yes. you know, right. you know, taking yes. taking a couple shots of fireball. I don't know, maybe even three or four. Probably all right. We watch the fireball <laughs> intake before the service. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hey, congratulations, Lynette. You're a winner. Thank you. You are welcome. Hang on the line another quick sec. We're going to get more information from you, okay? Okay. And congratulations to your upcoming wedding, all right? Maybe uh, may, may, maybe some shots of fireball and a microwave. No, 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 no. I, I think we just no, stay away from the fireball. Met. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, she knows. She's all right, smart. hang on. Hang on a little bit. Hang on. Honestly, the biggest prize in this entire game is not being in one of those stories. But we do want more of those stories. Yes, we so. do. If you could, just send us a little voice note, give us a headline, reveal the answer, finish the story, email at benandkellyshow at gmail.com.